Special measures to prevent the spread of the virus during the Salah holiday, extra disinfection done at transit hubs, no eating in highway rest areas, train ticket sales are limited and there will be tolls on highways. Che Wan-jung gets us up to speed. With millions of people in South Korea planning to travel during the Lunar New Year holiday, the health authorities are on high alert to prevent spike in infections. One area getting particular attention is the railway network. Just like last year, choose a holiday to maintain social distancing. Only the window seats on these high-speed trains are available this Lunar New Year holiday. Disinfection is underway almost around the clock at Seoul Station, which sees a constant stream of passengers as well as homeless people who live in, in the area. During the Chuseok holiday last fall, we disinfected every four hours, but now we do it every two hours. We've also changed the product we're using so that we can kill the virus completely. We're being very thorough. With space limited on the trains, the Transport Ministry is estimating a rise of 7.3 percent in the number of people traveling by car. Highway rest stops will continue to require face masks and take people's temperatures even if they're just going to the bathroom. And now there'll be teams of professionals deployed to disinfect the facilities, in addition to regular disinfections done twice a day. Most importantly, rest stops are only selling food for takeaway. Because we're not allowing dine-in service, we are putting away all the tables until February 14th. This is going to be inconvenient for our customers, but we're doing this for safety. Furthermore, airlines have been advised to sell window seats first. And ferries are operating on only 50 percent capacity. Normally, tolls on the highways will be waived for the holiday, but this year they're charging full price to discourage travel as much as possible. Cheonjong, Arirang News.